I'm gonna go for a little ride on the ground today. Got a little bit of nicer weather, so I'm taking advantage of it. Yeah, definitely a heck of a lot more uh, pickup than the uh, Honda Navi, of course, as it should be. Having a clutch, having more displacement. Don't get me wrong, the Honda Navi is a lot of fun to ride. It's very relaxing to ride. Took my daughter out um, over the weekend and we went up to Burger King and uh, she sat right on the front and she was even holding the throttle and <laughs> didn't have to do anything so she was learning the uh, fundamentals of throttle control on the Honda Navi so that was kind of cool and then Sunday she wanted to take the Honda she's like goes dad let's take the Honda Navi to the park I said perfect and uh, so she brings out of her one of her American uh, girl dolls and I said, where are you going to put that? And she says, we can put it in the box. And I go, oh, yeah. So we opened it up, and I said, well, let's see if it fits. So if any of you guys are wondering, your American Girl doll and a uh, Gatorade fits in the uh, storage compartment of the Honda Navi. <laughs> oh, I thought that was kind of funny. But no, the Honda Gram, uh, it's, uh, it's pretty cool. It's, it's a lot of fun. It's nice to get back on a uh, shifting too. Yeah, having the five gears is really nice. You know, I could see I didn't own um, this is my first ground, so having the older model, I didn't really know. But just shifting through the gears right now, being in the high revs um, in fourth gear, I got to imagine was uh, kind of annoying for a lot of the guys just being in the higher RPM. So having the extra gear um, just that cruising speed will be pretty nice and uh, hopefully a little bit better on the motor yeah we're just gonna go through the neighborhood a little bit do a little quick ride might run into uh, the city here I live out in the township so I'm not too far away kind of on the outskirts of the city and the uh, township in between so I go one way and I hit farm country, I go the other way, I get uh, you know all the brick and mortar stores, so it's kind of it's kind of nice. A little less taxes, all that fun stuff. So but anyway, back back to the ground. <laughs> I, I like how nimble it is. It just feels like you could throw it around. Um, which is kind of cool so actually when it gets a little bit warmer out roads get cleared off some more rain um, it would be nice just for the fact that you can uh, hit the corners a little bit harder I don't necessarily know what the tires on here they uh, definitely feel a lot better than the Honda Navi um, I usually test things out in the garage floor it's got a little top coating on it and um, it gets slick with tires so this definitely grabs a hell of a lot more than the, the Honda Navi tires Drive by the Mississippi. A good old Mississippi. A little inside joke here for someone. I'm so lucky. I'm so lucky. <laughs> See if you got any ducks or anything out there. Yeah, a couple. This year we had a pretty break or a pretty uh bad drought you could walk out probably about 20 feet and you'd be in the rocks so hopefully this year we don't get a bad drought yeah fifth gear full pinned into probably about a 15 mile an hour headwind it doesn't even want to do 50 going up a hill here it's probably going to drop down Let's see if we drop down a gear Oh, higher revs and it's still uh, still trying to climb. Like I said, we got a pretty good headwind though.
Yeah, so far I got 20 miles on it and it's uh, actually a lot of fun. Hey, little Harley's saying what's up. He likes the Grom. Well, looks like the gas went down 10 cents. Gas went down 10 cents and the eggs went up $2. You just can't win. What do we got there? A Triumph? Oh no, that was a Honda. I think, I don't know. Some kind of naked bike, it looked pretty sweet. Yeah, we're gonna go up on top of the hill up here where that tower is. It's kind of a nice spot. We'll go do a little walk around of the Honda Gram. Oh. See if we can beat these guys in the in the uh Oh yeah. In the round of boots. Yeah, the suspension isn't, uh, doesn't feel horrible. I can feel actually quite a bit of vibration through it. Which isn't the end of the world, but, oops, looking for my blinker and I hit the horn. This person behind me is like, oh, great. So yeah, there's the uh, new addition to the garage. Um, looks pretty good. I like the pearl white quite a bit. Obviously have a uh, something to do with this here. Um, with the exhaust that I got, the Werwitz Twin Atomic Twin uh, Racing Exhaust. Um, it's actually an Undertale, so this will be going. Um, this doesn't have a this has a nice little uh, growl to it. It's not it's not bad um, Just like any other bike I end up getting I change a bunch of stuff to it just to kind of make it how I want it But uh, the Werewolf's win uh, atomic exhaust that I got is an undertale that I really wanted that I've seen a lot of them like this um, I do know the uh, Yoshimura Exhaust has them on the side, but they do have one where it's dual sitting up here it was like 1500 bucks for the thing. It's, if I don't know what benefit you really get out of it, maybe a little bit uh, more horsepower, but not that much. But 1500 bucks uh, just kind of seems like quite a bit for an exhaust on this. Don't get me wrong, I bought a lot of dumb things uh, for bikes, but for this one, I don't think I was going to spend 1500 bucks. But um, the Werewolf's Win Atomic Exhaust that I got, like I said, is an Undertale, um, and it's actually a curved. Uh, it's obviously straight here, but it's got two pipes and it is curved so it kind of has a nice slant at it that'll look pretty good and it actually came with a license plate bracket because I was kind of wondering what the heck am I going to get for it, but it came with a uh, stainless steel or metal um, bracket that comes out. So I'd be kind of interested to see how that lines up. A um, couple other things I'll probably end up doing besides the exhaust. Um, definitely getting a new shock just the way it feels. Um, I like good suspension, not that this is horrible, but 
just when I start ripping around I like to uh, make sure my tire has contact to the pavement as much as I can so um, I'll probably end up like I said do the suspension definitely handlebars for sure um, these probably would work pretty good you know if you moved them forward but they're just not my style um, handlebars I don't know really what I'm gonna go with them or uh, what kind of handlebars I end up getting for it uh, I haven't done that much research on it but typical um, aftermarket handlebars for it um, I did see that they do have a undertail or not an undertail but a body belly pan um, down here that actually looks really cool so I'm probably gonna get that just to kind of give it that final look um, of a sport bike looking theme um, obviously do something with the blinkers get rid of the lollipops um, yeah other than that not I'm not gonna do too much to it just kind of simple things that make it how I like to hear it how it feels um, other than that this uh, try to commute it or make it a commuter bike a little bit um, but yeah so and the rest of it actually we'll turn on the gauge here I do like the um, LCD screen um, that's kind of nice um, it's got a gear indicator on it when it tells you needs to shift up which obviously most of us can just feel inside the uh, the motor itself or just hearing it um, you got your blinkers. What else does this thing have? Trip meters, A, B, total miles, gallons used. Yeah. So, all right, guys. Um, that's kind of it, what I'm going to do to it so far. I haven't really thought too much about it. Um, so, yeah. We'll hop back on and continue our venture. See, I don't know necessarily how many videos I'm going to do on the Grom. Um, I'm going to do the exhaust for sure, just because there is no Mirus Win Atomic uh, racing exhaust on the YouTube. So I think I'm going to put it on my channel, get some content of the Grom. Um, yeah, I mean, I, if you guys are interested, you know, when I get stuff for the Grom, if you want me to do videos of how-to um, videos, I may be more than willing to. If, any, if anyone uh, that watches the channel, if they want to, you know, see some of that stuff that I do. Um, but other than that, like I said, I'm not going to do too much to this thing like I did the Honda Navi. It's a lot of videos out of the Grom. It's been... Crown's been around for quite a while, so um, yeah, obviously besides the, the new model.